Hello all, I am Paul Orvis, an HR professional with 20 years of experience. I am an Abani Andrew team. June 2004, I met with an accident and in a few seconds my life changed completely. The doctors did the best to save my stump and to have it with a lot of crafting. A few months later, I started walking with a prosthetic limb. But the prosthetic limb that used to be onto the stump used to have a lot of friction and because of that frequent breakage, bleeding and a lot of pain. I was restricted at home for most of the weekends just to recover from that pain and bleeding and the bruises that I had caught during the week. Life was very difficult for me. And later, 15 years later, December 2019, I hear about osteointegration. That changed my life completely. I'm Dr. Aditya Khemka, consultant orthopedic surgeon. I specialize in hip and knee surgery, which is hip and knee arthroplasty, arthroscopy. And I have forayed into osteointegration over the last eight to 10 years, uh, having worked a lot with amputees and completed a PhD in the same. And uh, bringing this new technology to India, which is rehabilitating the amputees apart from using a socket prosthesis. Osteointegration is an innovative method wherein I connect the artificial limb to the bone through a direct and a quick connection and this actually makes the artificial leg a part of your body and mind forever to be controlled by yourself. Osteointegration has several benefits from walking normally to feeling the ground, having a quick connection for a quick release and a quick put on, doing away with all the mal effects or the drawbacks which a socket interface had, especially in individuals with difficult stumps. Amputees which are really suffering from socket interface issues are the right amputees to get an osseointegration. The one who are actually confined to a wheelchair or forced to use crutches, unable to use artificial legs because of interface problems with their sockets. Hi, I'm Jamin Johan. I'm certified C-Leg Prosthetist for Autobox since 12 years now. We have to make sure that the components are aligned accurately to ensure best function from the prosthesis. Also to avoid back pain and odd walking styles. I'm setting up the microprocessor control knee to suit Paul's walking different speed. I will conduct some tests for Paul which will help to record his progress in every subsequent visit. I can quickly wear or remove the prosthesis. I can feel the ground much accurately than my earlier leg. My step count has increased from about 100 to 1000 and today I can easily do 5000 plus. But it feels great because it actually is a result of uh, 8 to 10 years of hard work and perseverance. But the most important thing is to see uh, the patients merge into the real world and practically disappear amongst the population without being recognized as an amputee. I am looking forward to a new beginning.